Earlier this year the Philippine Army aspired to procure the AW-1 Cobra attack helicopter from the Japanese ground self-defense forces and so far there are indications that they may go ahead with it if more detailed information becomes available, it may be disclosed in a separate entry in the future. There is a report coming from a fellow Philippine defense observer on Twitter coming from a legitimate source saying that the Philippine Army may get at least one squadron or at least 12 JGSDFR-1 Cobra attack helicopters although perhaps not surprising if the Japanese government or the Philippine military or at their discretion each added more of these attack helicopters although the number of units the Philippine Army considers attractive there may still be at least a few units left that other countries in the Indo-Pacific may have interested not to mention that the Japan ground self-defense forces also chose to decommission their AW-64 Apache attack helicopters also built under license by Fuji Heavy Industry from active service with this information in hand. It will be interesting to see the outcome of this opportunity being made available to the Philippine Army to acquire attack helicopters from the Japanese ground self-defense force although ultimately it remains up to the discretion of the Japanese government and the Philippine Army regarding the realization of this grant. It may certainly give them close air support capabilities nearly on par with their Air Force counterparts with their attack helicopters these days. The Ministry of Defense of Japan pursuant to their white paper has officially declared that all their attack helicopters are in their fleet apart from other air assets such as the R-1J Huey Iroquois combat utility helicopter being rendered obsolete and being replaced by modern unmanned aerial vehicles replacing the role once played by weapons carrier of war machines and is now contested by countries such as the Philippines. The Philippine Army saw otherwise as they saw the importance of acquiring a close air support attack helicopter platform from a source such as the Japanese ground self-defense forces in the same way that their counterparts from the Philippine Air Force were determined to secure their own attack helicopters which are currently being built. Turkey. The T-129 attack helicopters are now nearing the delivery of their final batch in the next few months or even a year while there is a marked difference in priority in their defense needs. Japan and the Philippines are seeking to increase their military capabilities especially as both countries see Chinese aggression and expansionism as a threat with various contestations over their claims that took place in the Senkaku Islands in southern Japan and the Kalayan Island chain in the West Philippines and the Pan attacks demonstrated despite the fact that the two countries geographically located on what we consider to be Sean's first island as a bilateral island in progress. Dot. Relations between Japan and the Philippines may develop in the following months as the governments of the two countries recently signed 35 investment-related agreements that mainly focus on business and investment ventures that can guarantee the growth and development of both countries while minimizing potential risks from China. Economic influence in short, the Philippine Army has a great opportunity to secure part of the Japanese ground self-defense force fleet. The attack helicopter fleet especially the AW-1's Cobra attack helicopters created by Fuji Heavy Industries as a gesture of bilateral defense cooperation between these countries signifies the start of a good relationship that will benefit Japan and the Philippines in the coming years.